why is this picture in a history museum's collection? There have been a number of books about Louisiana photographs that have been done, but not too many that take a broad look at the entirety of, of the history of the medium. Louisiana Lens is something that has occupied a lot of my career, not so much in a specific sense, but almost in a subliminal or subconscious sense, because after the Historic New Orleans collection began collecting photographs in a big way, it just seemed that there would be a need to somehow squeeze some of that between covers and to celebrate not only this collection, but also the idea of Louisiana photography as it relates to the collections of a history museum. As the time to write the book came about, I gravitated toward selecting photographs from the collection that could, in their selection, address a whole variety of issues in terms of who made them, what the time period was, that each one was made, how the subjects that were covered were reflective of history of the moment, and to illustrate those particular pictures with writing that would elaborate on the circumstances of the pictures and not only present my thoughts on these pictures, but also, I think, and I hope, open the door to other people thinking about these pictures in ways that may differ from mine, and to make this much more of a tailored history of Louisiana photography as it exists in our collection, rather than one that claims to be comprehensive on any level. The reproductions in the book are extraordinary. They are faithful, they really capture as much as ink and paper can, these often complex chemical assemblages of objects. And I would encourage people who have an interest in a particular photograph or photographer or subject to visit the collection and experience the object quality of those items and hopefully come away with a, maybe not a different understanding, but a different appreciation for what they see on the page of the book. In terms of the text, I tried to give people information that they have every expectation of wanting to know who made the picture, if we know that, when it was made, what process is it, what is the subject. Those kinds of things are present in all of the individual pictures in the book. A good touchstone to take away from the text, which is part of the introduction, is to ask the question, as I ask myself, why is this picture in a history museum's collection? There are some pictures in Louisiana Lens that exist as exemplars of the artist or the style in art museums, but they can also serve a function of historical documentation as well. And so that's why I say I, I think that it's a question of emphasis more than object quality that defines Louisiana Lens and how it fits within a spectrum of photographic books. The Historic New Orleans Collection spends an extraordinary amount of budget and effort in making collections available to the public. As we sit here taping this in the reading room of the Williams Research Center, the public is invited to visit without charge. Appointments are always better, I think, for the staff and for the research project. But the idea that these original objects of history are accessible to anyone who has the interest to pursue it is an important element of the historic New Orleans collection. And I would hope that those viewing this would take advantage of that. Mm -hmm.